to perform the individual manual muscle test for extensor digitorum, the patient is seated at the table. The, they are, forearm is pronated. Let's start that over because I just like, yeah. Okay, take two. <laughs> to perform the individual manual muscle test for extensor digitorum, the patient is seated at the table with their forearm supported on the table and pronated. The, you provide stabilization under the wrist and hand with one of your hands while the patient makes a hook fist with their fingers. So pull these way on back. Perfect. Resistance is applied to the dorsum of the middle finger and ring finger proximal phalanges and resistance is provided in a direction of flexion. So just like this, hold these fingers back. Don't let me push them down. Hold, 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 hold. Very good. Since the middle finger and the ring finger only receive uh, tendons from extensor digitorum as opposed to the index finger, which also has extensor indices, or the small finger, which also has extensor digiti minimi, this way we isolate extensor digitorum uh, in this individual manual muscle test. You can uh, palpate the tendons over the metacarpals on the dorsal side. Uh, a substitution for this test would include wrist extension versus just finger extension at the MP joint.